it going everyone? My name is Do Girl and welcome back to Dragon Fable. Every rose has its thorns. Last time we left left off, Belle finally taught the Theano the meaning of mercy, but unraveling his arms. But only his arms. So, what happens next? Let's head into the epilogue, Loose Ends. Ooh. I see Theano's finally been brought to justice. I guess I meant what I said in the end, in the ending of the last part. I will notify Janiah of what you have done. She can deal with you. The Rose can clean up their own messes. I see. Tristina, let me start by expressing my sincerest apologies. Apologies. Where the hell did that come from? <clears throat> Still rough around the edges, I see, in my voice acting. You must believe me when I say that I have... That if I had known what these thorns were doing, I would have stopped them immediately. That's the thing, Janiah. You didn't know. So many people died because you didn't know. I am aware, Tristina. Do you think I like people dying? Do you think I like people seeing me as a villain? I don't. I built the rose with my bare hands. I wished for people to see us as something beautiful, something to look up to for protection. I am death. I am death. And then monsters like this scurry in. Trampling over the reputation of the rose and its good deeds. They all need to die. Magic corrupts absolutely. I know you feel the same, Janiya. Pitiful. I will make an example out of you, Diano. And all of your... Thorns. Let me kill them for you. The mages. Worry not. Tristina, the ramblings of a madman do not sway me. Set me free, and I will kill whoever you want. I am death. As for you, Theano, I admire the punishment that your daughter has seen fit to carry out. Therefore, if you can do no evil, I will make it so you can see no evil, or hear no evil, or speak no evil. This will not bring back those whom you have harmed, but do not lay your hands on me, you witch. I hope that their souls find solace in your misery. Oh, sorry, kind of itched out there. I am death. I will kill you for this. I will p plea Whoa. Sorry, I didn't say anything during that, but I wanted you to kind of feel the impact of what was happening to Theano. Oh, gosh. I can kind of see his mouth, but not really. Ahimsha, Tipu, take him to his cell. 
and please inform Acranthus that I have another mission for him. Would you say that his punishment was sufficient to his crimes? I... What did you do? As punishment for his senseless actions, I have rendered him quite literally senseless. He cannot see, hear, nor speak, and he, we will maintain him in such a state until his final breath. Yeah, uh... Kind of make... Oh. I, I just... I finally figured... Is she looking at me? Like, kind of... Did we do the right thing? You know, did we... Uh, I, I don't know. Now, about this Belle. I understand that she is a scout for the Rose. To have awakened such power. Where is she? She's gone. What do you mean? When she unraveled the anno, the burden on her body, she died from exhaustion. It was, it was just too much for her. Sudden overload of magical flux, depending on the vessel. I see. Perhaps this is for the best, then. What? How can you say that? Belle sacrificed herself to clean up your mess. And for that, I am forever grateful to her memory. However, the power to control the fine workings of mana that maintain the... I'm sorry, you described her power as an unraveling? Curious. As I was saying, I have no doubts Belle was a fine woman. However... Such power brings not on not only the threat of abuse, but inspires potential imitators who, in turn, may do great harm. So I, while I would lay great... Janiya, your lines are getting more and more complex. So while I would have greatly loved to thank Belle in person, I am also glad that she no longer poses a threat to law. Goodbye, Janiya. But that would mean the ley line theory is... Have all these experiments been using the entirely wrong model? Well, I'm glad to be out of there. It appears to have worked. It's done. I did what you told me, Warlock. The Anno is in the Rose's custody. And Janiah thinks you're dead, Belle. Good. If Janiya thought Belle was alive, she would have never stopped looking for her. I must admit, Belle's abilities would have proven inc incredibly useful to my own studies. However, but think of how easy it will be to stop Janiya now. Belle could easily... I can't, Justina. What do you mean? I can't mana-weave anymore. Why not? Belle and I discussed it, and we both decided to remove the power from her. But how? Why would you do that? Warlock, threats like Janiah, even Sepulcher, and the mysterious stranger, or any other. There would be no match for her. Tristina, stop. I am not a weapon. Or, sorry. <clears throat> Tristina, stop. I'm not a weapon. That's what Theano wanted me to be. But I'm not that. I'm a human being. When I was mana weaving, I felt like an avatar. Maybe even beyond them. I felt like I could take life. I could, I could create life. I could do anything. Even then, it nearly killed me. And almost destroyed Vatil. I was so angry. I was afraid of myself. I'm not an avatar. I'm just me. No one should have that power. The Anno gave it to me, and I wanted nothing to do with him. So with Warlock's help, I mana wove myself a filter. I'm not following. 
I will admit, the finer details escaped even me. But the theory behind it is quite fascinating. As you saw before, Bell had a direct, unrestricted connection to the mana core. She was able to draw any amount of mana she wished from it, with training, of course. However, mana weaving was a different story. While her body could withstand the mana flowing through it, her soul was not as durable. As she mana wove, the amount of mana flowing through her threatened to unravel her soul, as well as Vatil, who was bonded to it. If she would have pushed herself even a fraction harder, her soul would have unraveled completely and ceased to exist. Avatars. In order to prevent something like this from happening, even on accident, Bell and I applied sort of a mana filter. In theory, it restricts the amount of mana that Bell has access to at any time. Bell was on the one who created it. I just offered some insight on the theory work. It's hard to explain how I did it. It just I just kind of poked around until it felt right. As a result, Bell has normal access to the elements, but no longer has access to the unlimited flow of mana that allowed her to mana weave. So now I'm just normal. I see. That sounds complicated. But I'm glad you're happy now, Bell. I'm proud of you, Bell. Thank you for your, all your help, Warlick. Of course, Bell. You've greatly improved my understandings of the working of some mana. It will take some time for me to f fully test my theories, but you've set me on a new thread to follow. And thank you, Tristina. Truly. Without you, I would have never stopped the Anno. <laughs> Don't mention it. You did all the heavy unweaving. So, what's next for you, Bell? I'm leaving the Vind. I'll let the Rose finish off the rest of the thorn. I can't stand to see any more bloodshed. I need to get new spirit looms, and then I'm going to Ravenloss. I want to study among the soul weavers there, to become a master soul weaver, and try to put all this behind me. I wish you the best, Belle. If you ever need any help, I'm always here for you. Same for me. Thank you, Tristina. I hope we'll meet again someday. I like Belle. She's cute. She's a cute character. I like her. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. The Thorn Saga has come to an end. So, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really appreciate it. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see you all later. What's next for Belle? I hope we find out soon.